What is up everyone, this is Too Slow, aka CBest, and today we're going to be installing and reviewing Pioneer's new front and rear dash cam. It is the VREC-DZ700DC. And thank you to my girlfriend, she is very lovely for getting me this for Christmas. <laughs> it's the day after Christmas, it's the 26th already, so it's Sunday, it's my day off. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, I, I, I obviously already opened it and checked it out but um i'm gonna show you guys what's included in the box so first thing we got is a 16 gigabyte sd card and then here's the actual dash cam itself so here it is got some buttons right there power microphone and looks like wi-fi looks like it might connect to my hotspot on my phone who knows we'll have to check it out we got a reset button right there with uh looks like to be a microphone input or like a microphone and then over here we have the actual main harness rear view camera connector which is just a regular usb um input and then we have an auxiliary out or AUX, <coughs> aux out sorry about that so that, i think i think that connects to like your head unit so if you want to get the the image to display from here to like your head unit you can do that with the provided wires that are included so and then here's the actual rear dash cam itself really neat that it's a front and rear dash cam i'm actually surprised about it i like it looks like it also has a microphone right here on the back so then we go ahead and remove the top cover we got some instruction manuals right here gonna go ahead and read those just to verify the cables are the correct ones uh, got some cleaning wipes to clean the area. We're going to apply the 3M tape on for the dash cams. And so here we got the harnesses. So this one's your main one. This is the one that connects to your dash cam to like your power. There's the input. And then I like what Pioneer did right here. They, they had fuses for your constant and then your accessory 12 volts for the, for the battery. So it looks like it's going to be incredibly easy to wire up. All we have is, as I said, 12 volt constant, 12 volt accessory, and then ground. So I'm actually happy that it's a hard wire setup. I don't like um, the, the cigarette lighter plug-in dash cams. Some people, it's good for them because they don't know how to wire it up. But, you know, for us car savvy people... This is nothing to us. This is super easy to wire up for me. All I gotta do is just pull out my rate, my head unit, wire it up from there, and just run this up along the, the pillar of my vehicle and conceal it. So it looks like this is the what I was talking about. It's like an aux out. And then you would plug it into, you would plug it into, where is it at? To right here. So that you have RCA inputs to hook up to like the back of your head unit. And this, and be able to view whatever it is going on on your, on your um, head unit of your vehicle. So I, I find that pretty cool. If it's not too hard to wire, if it's not too bad to wire up, because I'm gonna be doing another wire up of mir mirror play on my iPhone. So if I do have another um, RCA input, then I'll go ahead and wire this up just for shits and giggles. And here's that super long cable for the rear for the rear camera incredibly long but it does have a split right here in the middle so in case you want to just split it and take it off easily i guess you can and it's just your typical usb this is old school right here but if it works it works let's not question it anyways that's everything in the box let's go ahead and start wiring this up so obviously first thing you're going to want to remove your bezel it's really easy on these Corollas, just pull it out. There's actually 10 millimeter right there and right there. And I don't think that, I think that's it. Kind of flimsy how they made it hold. I don't think it's supposed to be like that, but I mean, my head didn't slid out, so pretty sure it is. All right, let's get to it. Let's check the back of the head unit. I didn't really see, but this won't come out unless we take off the, the screws right here, right there, and right there. So let's go ahead and do that. So there you have it. I already hardwired the red, yellow, and black wires from the harness of the dash cam to my speed to my head unit harness. This is a good spot to hardwire stuff. Um, in case you do want to go back, you're not really messing with anything 
um, to original to the vehicle. You're just messing with the harness that you put together yourself. So really easy. I love the way how Pioneer does it with color coding. You just you just pl plug the yellow to the yellow, the red to the red, and black to the black. And I all I did was just twist and turn. Um, basically, when I had my when I had this system in my or when I had this type of twist and turn with my stock head unit, it lasted years. So yeah, you could solder just to have that ease of mind that it's never gonna come off. But twist and turn for me was okay. And then I used some heat shrink tube from Harbor Freight. I still gotta make that Harbor Freight video of what tools to buy and what stuff to buy from Harbor Freight and what to avoid. So stay tuned for that guys. Really informative video coming your guys' way. So now that that's done, we're just going to throw everything back. Actually, before we do throw everything back together, we're going to route the wire through the back of the cluster and up the pillar to over here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, plugged everything up. Just want to make sure that this is working. Hey, everyone. This is Seabass. Oh, there it goes. No SD card. So there you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish wiring it up. So I already have the dash cam installed. Double sided tape is already on the window. And I'm gonna, I already ran the, the harness to the headliner. It's tucked away, coming down the pillar. And if you remove the bezel for the cluster, you have plenty of space to reach back here to kind of mess around with the harness. And I tucked away the harness back here. So now I don't have all the excess harness sticking out. So I'm going to go ahead and use this um, Tessa tape that these guys that I watch, Five Star Car Audio, they use this on all their wiring harnesses. And it's basically the same stuff that they use in Audi and like the higher end vehicles for their engine harnesses. And it keeps heat off really good. So this is better than electrical tape. And it's sort of like a cloth, cloth feel tape. So we're gonna wrap up as much as I can here to make it look nice and then put the head unit back on. So unfortunately, I only have one video in for the, for the head unit and because I'm making a whole separate video on wiring up a, um, what is one of these plugs? An HDMI to RCA adapter for my iPhone. It's gonna be taking up the only video in that I have. You can try to put it into the RC in, but I believe this is for your reverse camera. And I will also be installing a reverse camera on this vehicle. So I'd rather just use the reverse camera input than another one for just like video of what's going on on the dash cam. So I don't think I'm going to be using that harness. So let's just pretty much, we're pretty much going to be deleting this, this, these two harnesses right here. We're not going to be using this, but as I said, if you want to run uh, external source of video or want to see whatever's going on onto the dash cam to the head unit you're going to go ahead and use this but we're not going to use that so let's set that aside and now what we're left with is the reverse camera and the reverse camera harness so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now and set that up so i just routed the second wire harness for the rear view camera so just tucked it into the, the headliner ran it down the pillar and I went ahead and removed this AC duct so that I can get the, the wire through here. Same with this one, so I can get the wire down here. And now we're just gonna tuck it down through right here. Sorry for the mess, haven't really vacuumed the car, but it's just a bunch of leaves from outside because it's been really um, fally, if I should say. <laughs> no, it's been falling, all our, all our leaves are falling down the trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up, put the air ducts back on, all this stuff back on so that we can finish up here. So I already ran the wire through the back and I already tucked in that for now. I'll probably go ahead and tuck it better later. But in the meantime, I ran the wire through back here, through the headliner, and I'm just gonna tuck it in right here. I didn't realize that it's supposed to be mounted this way. So if I would have if I would have knew that, I would have ran the wires the opposite way. So now I'm gonna have this looping over if that makes sense, but that should be fine. It shouldn't be that much of an issue, but I wired it up. You can see it's already showing. 
there you have it already tucked everything back in wires tucked under the headliner and there you have it it's installed and i can move this back and forth whichever way i want but i think i got it in the correct spot so file management on the sd card is quite simple you have event basically this means when the dash cam detects any sort of um, vibration like big vibration or big movement to the actual dash cam itself meaning like someone backs into you in a parking lot or your car gets hit I kind of don't like this feature because if you have like a modified vehicle with like aftermarket suspension and let's say a, a dip on the freeway is kind of hard on you and it's kind of hard and it makes your whole car kind of rattle it will detect that as an event because it thinks like your car got hit or something so I kind of don't like it but I mean it's there for for a reason I guess for when whatever miscellaneous just miscellaneous um files for the vet for the dash cam itself parking is for when you have your vehicle parked and it detects someone maybe backing up into you too close and then it starts recording then they hit you so obviously that's a really good folder to be in photo is when you press the button on the actual dash cam itself it takes a photo this is great for if you want to like take someone's license plate quickly or like let's say you want to take a phone number off a billboard or like someone's sign i guess on their car that way you don't have to go back to the videos and start looking for that video where that phone number was at or that license plate they're right here stored in the folder the photo folder video obviously recording events from whenever it is your vehicle is in motion so really good file management system and if we go into one they're just like that so you play one yeah there you go see now it's ready to use all broken up, you don't have like some dead
que están hechos, la lona, está bien así como bien buena, bien dura. about this dash camera they're great i love the dash cam it's easy to install and i love the fact that it's hardwired um i don't like that there's a bunch of cords hanging from my windshield and whatnot because in some states technically that is illegal to have stuff coming off your windshield like you can't have phones mounted on your windshield and stuff like that because that's apparently obstruction of view so i like that i could tuck everything on the headliner and everything is kind of away if that makes sense um, another thing that was, I guess, a concern for me was the rear dash cam, so, or the rear camera. Would that be called a dash cam if it's not on your dash, if that makes sense? <laughs> it's, it's whatever. Um, what I was, um, a little bit concerned about was if the rear camera was going to be darker, because I do have really dark tint on the back of my Corolla, so that was one thing I was really concerned about is what happens if you can't really see out the window if you got really dark tint. And you guys saw in the video, you can see really well out the back of the window and picks up audio really nice and really good. I like it. Um, it is kind of on the pricier side. I believe it's a $320 unit as itself. You can just buy multiple. There's like hundreds of these Chinese and eBay dash cams that are like 50, 60 bucks, maybe cheaper. But, you know, you if you want a company name, a rep, reputable name in car electronic devices, it's it's a no-brainer to get something like from Pioneer. And I'm I don't know. I don't want to consider myself like a Pioneer whore, but everything in my dad everything in my Corolla is Pioneer, Pioneer speakers, Pioneer head unit. Um, Pioneer dash cam so uh, I like it you know it's it's a great gift I was that was actually a gift to me from my girlfriend and I want to thank her for that um, but other than that um, hopefully this video helped you guys kind of make that decision if you are gonna pick one up or not but if you have any questions concern comments leave them down in the description or leave them down below the description and I'll be more than happy to answer them as soon as possible. So if you guys like content like this, let me know. Um, whenever I get new electronics for cars, I can make videos like these. So just give me some feedback, guys. That's all I ask for. <laughs> Thank you, guys.